Hi guys, so I want to talk to you a little bit about a topic that blew up like yesterday and today they have some consequences and it's about the photographer Soviet Data and the claim that he plagiarized some pictures and what's going on with this whole story and I want to connect that to a question that I've received a lot on this channel so I hope you enjoyed this video and let's go. So in case you have no idea, let me put you right on the action. Uh, <laughs> Soviet Data is a photographer and he was taking some pictures, like he has made a lot of projects and one of them was uh, in the Bertels of Calcutta. Uh, and he took a picture of uh, a woman looking at the camera and then another woman in the background. And he claimed that the woman in the background was actually the owner of the Bertel. But then somebody noticed that the subject on the background is not actually a woman uh, in the picture of data it's actually a character from another picture from Marie Ellen Mark from 1978 there's also the scandal that Soviet data took some pictures from the photographer Daniel Volpe that they were they were taken in Guatemala and data claimed that they were his own pictures and they're clearly not uh, and he posted those pictures on Facebook uh, two of them claiming that they were his so the main reason why I'm talking about this is not to get on the high horse and say like, oh, did you see what that is doing? That's like the wrong thing. Because we all know it's wrong. Like there's no, of course it's wrong. <laughs> like we don't need to be geniuses to see that. Um, but what m interests me the most is uh, he, he gave an interview or at least he, he gave some declarations uh, and he said that he did this back when he was 23. And he did this Photoshop with a picture of Molly and Mark uh, and, and Photoshop on his own work and stealing some other photographer's content because the main reason he did that was because he wanted to get exposure. He wanted to be known. He wanted to be famous. So he did all the shortcuts that he could in order to make that happen. And man, that resonated with me in a deeper level because it's... On my channel, there's a lot of people who write me and ask me questions that are not exactly that, but I, I, I can foreshadow they, they are in the same spectrum. Um, there's people writing me like, hey man, I really like your channel, how can I be famous? Do you know any tricks on how can I improve my style so I can be more well known? Or there's people writing me on my Instagram and say, hey, I really like the color palette that you have on your Instagram account. Uh, what color palette can I use to be more known on Instagram? And I'm like, it, it, it really baffles me when I, when I get these questions because I don't think there's an answer to that. I mean, not an honest answer. And that's the main reason why I'm talking about this. Because if, if you want to be known and if you want to be famous and you want to be like, oh, I want everybody to notice my work, um, you have two choices. You can either pretend to be somebody who has everything already resolved, like this is my style, this is my thing, this is how I do things. And, 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 and you can take that to the extreme and start stealing from other people's work, like what Data did, or you can take the long run and try to be honest with yourself and try to come up with your own solutions and your own work and your own perspective and then craft it along the way slowly until somebody notices. Um, and I wanna make a really special pinning on that moment, like until somebody notices, because there's a great chance that nobody will notice and that's all right like you need to be in peace with that option um, and it took me a lot of years to 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 accept the fact that i might never be known that's fine like <laughs> i don't need to be famous because the main question is why are you doing this if you're doing this because of the fame or because you want to be well known, that object will never be fulfilled. That's a moving goalpost that once you have fame, oh, but I can be more famous, more famous, more famous, like getting money. I want to get money. I want to get money. And then it, it's a never ending thing. But that movement, that moving goalpost is quite dangerous because it will lead you to emptiness in the end. Like it's, it's going to happen. Uh, and if you are dishonest with yourself and you just do it because you need the external uh, approval and the external eye saying, hey, you're, you're awesome, you're awesome, you're awesome, then you're not doing what you do for yourself. I think that the best way that I have found and the way that I try to convey on this channel is try to be, it's not just be yourself, it's try to be honest with what you do. Why are you doing this? Are you doing, are you taking pictures because you want to see something and try to convey something you have a message or you don't even need to have a message maybe you just feel like you can create something beautiful and you can share that beauty 
and put it on circulation on the world and maybe you can grasp a little bit of beauty and, and, and show it to the world and maybe one or two people will care and it will affect them and, and it will make sense to them briefly because they're gonna die anyway and you're gonna die too so it doesn't really matter if it's a thousand people or two everybody will die so the main thing is why are you doing this are you doing this because you want to convey something you want to give a little bit more of beauty to the world or you want to feel important i think the self-importance road is is quite dangerous and it, it it leads to not very nice places i've met people who are quite famous online but they have this problem that online they have a, like a persona they have like a character online and then when you meet them and you talk with them they look miserable because they can't maintain this character because they are not the character like what they are and their internet persona or even their work or whatever is like an outside thing a thing outside of them and they have to transform into this character or they have to transform what they want to do and create what everybody wants to see from them and that's like that's a terrible place to be. It's not comfortable, it's not nice, and you end up lying to yourself and pretending that it's gonna be all right. At some point, I'm gonna get used to this. But it's really hard to get used to lying. It's really hard to get used to pretending to be somebody else. So I think what this scandal that came out with Soviet data actually helps uh, other people to see the perspective of what am I able to do or at what lengths am I able to go to be famous and is it worth it or not? Because uh, at one point, at one point or another, this honesty is going to come back and haunt you. Anyway, I'm going to leave all the links down below so you can check the articles and see what's going on and how it all unfolds. Um, if you have an opinion or a different opinion or you have like a, a different perspective and you want to share, we can all discuss it in the comment section. Um, yeah, let's, let's try to keep it friendly and try to come up with cool ideas and, and how we, do we navigate through this problem. Uh, but thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm going to see you next week with another shoot film episode. Uh, and I want to thank, of course, as always, to all my Patreons because they help me tremendously to keep this channel going. So thank you guys. You guys are uber awesome. Thank you all for your support. And I will see you next week. And oh, okay, before I go, I, <laughs> I'm sorry if this jump cut is a little bit extreme to you and I'm too close. But before I go, uh, I want to do something that I barely ever or never do on this channel, but I'm really happy and really proud. Um, and everybody does it and I always feel like I should. Anyway, we reached uh, 30,000 subscribers. So yay, we're on 30,000. I'm super happy about that. Thanks a lot for your support. Uh, even though these last two months I haven't been able to post as much as I would love to, but there's just life, man. Life is, 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 is tacking up on top of me, but I'll come back. I'll be back in Hastings in the 18th of May. And from then onwards, the schedule of this channel goes back to normal. So thanks a lot for sticking by. Thanks a lot for your support. I'm really happy about this uh, 30,000 subscribers. I'm, I, it, it looked like a number. It was never going to come, but it's here now. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. I'm, I'm really, really happy about that. And I'll just stop talking because I have to put subtitles in Spanish for this little bad boy. Uh, and it's going to take me several hours. So that's it. Thanks a lot, guys. And that's it. I'll see you next week with another Shoot Film episode. Keep shooting.